We've, we've had to do quite a bit in terms of uh, controlling the wind down this part of the countryside. Yeah. We're only a mile and a half from the sea, so that has an impact on in, in a lot of positive ways yeah. in terms of, you know, we're relatively frost free, but it does bring with it uh, these uh, lovely onshore breezes like yeah. the one we've got today, which is touching 50, I think. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we've planted a lot of uh, windbreak trees to uh, mitigate that. Uh, but we've also looked at the soil and some areas of uh, our soil uh, are a little bit low in their cation exchange capacity. Yeah. Uh, so it means it leaches uh, the, the nutrient that we do put on. So one way we've uh, experimented to find out whether or not we can mitigate that is by increasing the amount of organic material we put into our soils. Yeah. But also we did a trial with biochar uh, back in 2012. So we applied that as well, sort of pre-planting. Uh, and what we found is, is that actually has improved the soil quite significantly uh, to the point where the vines in that particular part of the block uh, definitely outperform the rest of the block in terms of uh, their development. The bunches tend to be bigger, uh, riper. Yeah. So, you know, that's what we want. We want bigger, riper fruit. So, um, you know, if we had our time again, maybe we would put biochar everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Stephen has all said right from the beginning that you know the wines that we produce here have to reflect where we're from, uh, and I think we've achieved that. Yeah. Okay. And in terms of the biggest challenges here, what have you found to be <laughs> apart from the wind? <laughs> uh, well, you know, England's still a marginal climate for growing grapes. Um, the weather is is the factor, really. Uh, you know, we get years where in 2012 where it, the weather was so poor that we didn't harvest at all. Um, so, yeah, the key times for us really, as you can imagine, are, are, are a bud burst. Uh, we're fairly frost free, so we didn't have the problems that a lot of other places have had this year. Yeah. Although we do take uh, measures to, to you know, mitigate against frost. Uh, raining at flowering is, is, is obviously an issue, and, and actually that temperature as well. Uh, so far, we've been fairly lucky. I mean, this year's flowering was, was excellent. Um, but we've had a, a pretty difficult uh, June through into July this year where it's been it's been warm but it's been very humid and then actually in through July we had a lot of rain August was pretty damp as well so we've had a lot of disease pressure this year uh, which has been probably uh, pretty intense compared to other years uh, but we're pretty happy with what's come off but we're, as always we always like any farmer we always want more yeah so th I mean this is the key issue I mean producing this year how much of what you Oh, probably half, actually. Yeah, um, we're, we're never satisfied, you know. We, having said that, the vineyard is quite young, you know. So we've planted blocks every year since 2009. So the block we're uh, we're facing now was planted in 2013. So this is only its second harvest. So it's nowhere near, you know, reaching its full potential. Although, albeit, it's done very well for us. Um, so you know, if we if we had every block that was like this one, I'd be pretty happy and I think Bella and Steve would be pretty happy as well actually.